Hey, everybody. So today uh, we're going to talk about a word that you hear me use a lot, but I'm just going to outline it a little bit more. And that word is capacity. And it's seven different parts to capacity. And uh, so many so that I had to give myself a little cheat note. So you might see me looking at my notes, but capacity has seven different parts to it. And so when we're thinking about capacity, for those of you who are in the classes on the 12 week year, you see it a lot with time. You know, do I have time to do that? Do I even have the capacity to do that? And I think a lot of people understand capacity as just a container, right? I can only put so much stuff in my container, right? You can only fit so much into your timeline. So a lot of you are thinking about that, but there's also another way to look at capacity. And that's really looking at the full breadth of capacity. So number one is the space. Is it just a, the container version of capacity? And when we talk about capacity, we are also saying that capacity sometimes is our understanding. So that's number two, is the power to understand. Do I have the ability to understand that? Sometimes I don't have the ability to think something through because my brain is full. So sometimes I just don't have any more capacity to understand something. Uh, and we see this a lot in just learning too many things at one time. I don't have capacity. That's one of the reasons why it's so helpful to slow your learning down, to make it a little more fun, to gamify it a little bit, because it'll make your brain open up and you'll gain capacity. Number three is really the role or position so sometimes I don't have the role to be able to do that. So sometimes my capacity is, is I don't have enough staff. So when you're thinking about capacity, you can think about it in number three is role or position. Number four is production. Sometimes I don't have the ability to produce what it is that you want. One of the things that I mentor a lot of people, and so something that will help me with my capacity is dictating. So I will dictate a note and then put it in and they get my dictation notes. So you can speak a lot faster than I can text or write or email. And I'm a dyslexic, so typing is madness for me. It's just madness. Um, it spell check, spell check, peop, like I can make a mistake that's so big, spell check can't even, like you have to at least be close with spell check. Sometimes I can't do it. So it, it's a way to look at number four is production. Right, so sometimes my production gets goes a lot faster if I have another tool. So sometimes when you're looking at things, so when I'm mentoring, right, giving people case notes on it, just giving them feedback, what do we talk about? That that tool allows you to build capacity because you can produce more. And AI, we're gonna see a lot of that happen. Number five in capacity is responsibility. Do I even have the ability to take that responsibility? Number six is suitability. So responsibility and suitability. Sometimes something isn't right for me. So it's I can't take it on if it doesn't have that. And number seven is the other capacity, which is influence. Sometimes you have influence over something. You have the capacity to make a gesture. You have the capacity to make something help. Sometimes... Um, I'll give you an example, is my friend Tanya. My friend Tanya does back to school. She doesn't have the same influence in a wealthy neighborhood that I do. So I can send out an email to my friends to go, hey, can I have all the cute clothes your kids are outgrown? And can you drop them on my porch? I have capacity, I have an influence. And everyone will just drop off their clothes that they're, are nice, that their kids aren't gonna use, and then I can bring over to Tanya's neighborhood. and. In Tanya's neighborhood, they really need those clothes. So when you think about capacity, I want you to think about the fact that capacity has seven different components. And those seven different components are also how you build your life. So when you're thinking about your prosperity mindset and you're saying, look, I got to build capacity, there's seven layers of capacity. And the other thing I remind people about is capacity does not mean obligation. Just because I have the ability to make an influence doesn't mean I'm obligated to do that.
just because I can do something faster doesn't mean I should have to do that faster. So when you're thinking about capacity for yourself, as a high achiever, you'll want to really think about what are the seven areas? What are the seven layers that I would like to build capacity? What are the things that I can add into my life that will give me the layers of capacity that are meaningful? And so when we think about, is it my role or position? I can make a lot more changes if I'm higher up. If it is my power to understand, I have a lot more capacity to solve problems when I know a lot more. So one of the things that I do in business planning is I tell people, I have to learn as much as I can about you so that I can increase my capacity to help you. So sometimes when we're asking people about the things that are going on with them, I'm asking them because I need to know, right? I have to have a power to understand, right? So let help me understand what's happening so I can grow my capacity to help you produce an answer. So when you're thinking about capacity, one, it's the seven pieces, right? So I'm just going to recover them once again, right? The amount of the space. Number two, the power to understand. Number three, the role or position. Number four, production. Number five, responsibility, which really goes right next to number six, which is suitability. And then number seven is influence. So again, capacity does not mean obligation. You are not obligated to grow. But with that said, you may want to think about the ways that you would like to grow. You are not obligated to grow for someone else. You get to grow for you. You get to have the life that you're wanting. And you get to look at things and go, oh, here's that little snick snack trick. That's why everyone watches all these YouTube videos is because they're looking for some way to become a little bit better. And the way to start that for yourself is to understand your own capacity and understand the layers of your capacity. So again, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. And thank you for working on your own life. Because all of that joy, all of the things that you are doing to love yourself, to think about the way that you think, to really give yourself some mindful isolation to be ah, calm and happy and productive in your own life and in your own light, it's meaningful to everyone around you. So thank you. Thank you for showing up. And I hope you have a great day. And uh, capacity, seven layers. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.